college football spring portal window is officially closed. Iowa knows where they're at personnel-wise, at least for the time being. And some serious needs still prevalent, including at quarterback. Depth is an issue there. That's not breaking any news to anyone. We'll talk about some news that I was made aware of this weekend in just a second. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Iowa Floor Covering and their Tough Core Click Together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring. I've talked about that for you DIYers out there. Check that deal out over at iowafloorcovering.com slash DIY. But if you've got any questions regarding flooring, including carpet, tile flooring, visit iowafloorcovering.com or give them a call. Tyler, Ryan, and the guys down at IFC and Von Durant, 515-379-7000. That's 515-379-7000. They are sponsors of the show and we are proud to have them with us. Iowa floor covering down in Von Durant. So, according to a source, and I think this has been swirling here for a couple of days, uh, I was made aware of it yesterday, and this is on pretty good authority. Former Northwestern quarterback and starter, Brendan Sullivan, is taking a visit to Iowa, or at least did take a visit to Iowa as of Friday, whether he's still there on campus in Iowa City today. I, I don't have the answer to that. I can tell you this, folks, according to a source close to the program, and I do believe this has been reported on by some other people, and the reason I say that is because I've had multiple people reach out to me, hey, are these rumors about Brennan Sullivan being at Iowa true? Certainly, I'm not going to report on rumors or what other people say or claim. Um, I can just go based on the people that I know, which certainly pales in comparison to the people that work at this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But I can tell you from a reliable source close to the program that Brendan Sullivan was at the Performance Center on Friday, met some of the players, toured the facility. That I can tell you based on this uh, very reliable source. So whether that means I was going to offer him, has offered him, I don't have the answer to that question. I can tell you this, Brendan Sullivan played a number of games at Northwestern. In fact, if you look at his college numbers, Put up some impressive numbers when he did play. Keep in mind that Northwestern offense has not been great, although they outperformed expectations after Pat Fitzgerald was sent packing. But Sullivan this past year in eight games played through 99 passes, completed 64% of them, an average of 7.2 yards per attempt, 714 yards, has over 1,300 career passing yards at Northwestern in two years of playing, just 13 total games there has 10 touchdowns, five picks, a combined average for passer rating over the two seasons of about 136, 137. So pretty good. You watch him on tape. He's mobile. All right. He is a, what I'd call a pro style passer. In fact, Tim Lester, Iowa's current OC, did recruit Brendan Sullivan. And we've talked about Sullivan with uh, Mark Rogers, the voice of college football on one of our Tuesday shows over on his Iowa football, the voice of college football YouTube channel. We've talked about him because he's one of the few options out there right now, legitimate options in the transfer portal. So this should not come as a shock to anybody that I was pursuing this young man, especially given the fact that Lester had offered Sullivan out of high school when Lester was the coach at Western Michigan. But the point is, it sounds like they've gotten him to campus. Now what? I'm sure there are several other teams, a number of other teams who are scouting and uh, recruiting Brandon Sullivan, because the transfer portal pool at quarterback is quite thin during this post-spring window. Again, he is a mobile guy. I would compare him to probably a C.J. Beathard. I think he's got that level of mobility. He's got good size, 6'2", 6'3". Got a pretty good arm, can throw inside of the pocket, outside of the pocket. I mean, I didn't see anything in the little bit of tape that I was able to find that stood out. From a, a bad perspective, he's a, not a guy who's going to take a ton of sacks because he is mobile. So he's someone totally polar opposite to what we've seen with guys like Petrus and Deacon Hill. It's amazing how almost every quarterback that plays in the Big Ten is more mobile than Iowa's quarterbacks year after year after year. But I digress. If they were able to land Sullivan, it would be a great piece to compliment Cade McNamara because you just don't know about health there. And it's someone to push Cade because, I mean, frankly – if Brendan Sullivan's a better guy, if he ends up committing, which would be massive, he's the better player, then so be it. Let him start over Cade McNamara, who's coming off two severe leg injuries. I will say this. There was a report out earlier today that Taquan Roberson, the former Penn State and UConn player, quarterback, 
He actually started at UConn, entered the portal. He is now interested in Northwestern. They're pursuing him, which makes me wonder. I mean, there were rumors like maybe Ryan Holinsky ended up getting that job back from Brendan Sullivan. That's the reason Sullivan entered the portal. But why would they be bringing in Roberson, who started at UConn, if their quarterback position was that settled? Would they be bringing in Roberson to be a potential backup? The reason I bring that up is because perhaps Sullivan didn't leave Northwestern because he got beat out. Now, maybe he did. We don't know that for sure. He's got two years of eligibility remaining, so we'll see what we shall see. The portal window's closed. means players cannot enter the portal now, but Iowa will be recruiting, and they are recruiting another player. Doesn't mean they're going to offer him. General Booty out of Oklahoma. Am I pronouncing that correctly? General Booty. That's a legitimate uh, recruit from uh, OU who transferred in, put up big numbers at the JUCO level, and Iowa is reportedly in contact with him, according to on three. So we'll continue to follow this. But my source, an individual that I do trust that is close to the program, has confirmed this news that Brendan Sullivan has been on campus this weekend. So we'll see. Former Northwestern quarterback, perhaps on his way to Iowa City, will continue to follow this story. Appreciate you being here, folks. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and we will talk to you next time.